South Africans being very social and love crying with friends and family. I think wine has always been a part of our culture. We've got a very proud wine heritage in South Africa. From a global perspective, the wine industry, there's about 340,000 people that are employed throughout the value chain. That includes the farms. So obviously that feeds a lot of houses, a lot of families. So the wine industry we see as vitally important from a social economic point of view. Boerland Sala, in the heart of the winelands, just out of sight, beautiful Paul. We love collaborating with our farmers and the farm workers and with our stakeholders and our staff. We're well aware that we cannot do this alone. We believe together is better. We've got approximately 50 great producers now. That gives us a great opportunity to diversify in different tastes, cultivars, and choose the best from those different areas and climates. Uh, we harvest about 16,000 tons at, at Willand Cellar. That's about um, 11.8 million liters, so it's quite a lot of wine. The past three years, we had some of the driest years in what I can remember in the 20 years that I make wine. It's not one huge thing that will make this climate change go away. It's the little things people do combined in order to save our planet that we are so happy to receive our resources from. We use a lot of energy, specifically in the cooling of our wines. Sun Exchange provides us with a chance to be more sustainable. It's really a no-brainer for us to be a part of such a well thought through concept. Buland Cellar requires just over 472 kilowatts of power for their operation, which is around 87,000 solar cells. Each solar cell to power this project costs 81 rand, or around 5 US dollars, and is forecast to generate 8.2 kilowatt hours of solar electricity a year. They've agreed to pay you a starting price of one rand and eight cents, or around six US cents per kilowatt hour. Over the 20 year lease, we estimate this will earn you an internal rate of return of 12.48%. I'm very excited about it. We've got a lot of sunshine in South Africa, so we needed to do this 20 years ago. We get a product from nature, but we really have to give back to nature. Obviously, we can't give grapes back, but we can give back in a different way. We love people drinking our wine globally and knowing that their own soda cells powering the production of that wine process in the cellar is an incredible full circle. The FBI is an association of landowners that work together to prevent fires. Globally we're seeing a definite increase in intensity and in fires burning in areas that they weren't previously burning or maybe they were previously burning but not to the degree or scale that they are now and that's the difference. There was times that we could manage a long line. It's not so easy anymore. Prevention is my middle name. When I started out it was suppression, suppression, suppression in the role that I play in the, in the Fire Protection Association. Without this long-term funding, it's incredibly hard to maintain consistent awareness and prevention programs that are ultimately going to benefit not just general society, but our ecologically sensitive environment. 